it's a very, very busy WrestleMania weekend, especially mm. for Rhea Ripley. Yes. What's the haps, Rhea Ripley? Oh, you know, a bit of everything, a bit of media, a bit of gym time, a bit of SmackDown. Yeah, there'll be some wrestling in there somewhere, right? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> everything happening all at once. This has got to be such a polar opposite, thinking back to your first WrestleMania. Yes. And, like, being in that ring. What was that like? I've been curious about that for a long time, to, like, have this moment being built up, built up, coming from NXT and everything, and then it's like, hey, this thing, yeah. it's going to get a lot harder now because there's not going to be an audience. Man, it was heartbreaking i remember going to the stadium and walking around and getting so excited over it and then i'm not even joking like the next day i started hearing that wrestlemania might get cancelled so i was messaging people and i was like it's not getting cancelled is it like i just went to the stadium yesterday like please tell me it's still going and then it was like two days later like yeah we're moving it to the performance center and then my heart sank because like I just I really wanted to have that WrestleMania moment and right. it was still cool like I'm not taking anything away from that and it was like real cool to sort of be a part of that history making event as well um, that being my first one too which is wild and that was my first time competing in front of the no crowd right like my first ever time because I last time I was out there in the ring in front of people was the NXT appreciation night and apart from that I was doing backstage stuff up until my mania match Wow. So it was insane. I remember I was like getting ready to go out for my entrance and my music started playing and they shoved me out there. They're like, yeah, you can't walk, like wait for your cue. You have to go out straight away because there's no crowd. And I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> so I just started pacing on the stage and I'm waiting for my cue to do my stomp. Yeah. It was so awkward. <laughs> stomp now. Uh, okay. Legit. I was like, I don't know what to do. The stage wow. is like this big. <laughs> What did you say? It's like your first WrestleMania. It's nobody, and then you also have to like just assume people will react are gonna be reacting yeah. to this. I right? don't know what they like, and also like I'm not from Raw or SmackDown, right. so like they don't really know who I am. Some of them, so I'm like, it's a lot of confidence oh. to just be like, I'm sure they're happy to see me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I, I hope they're it, cheering for me. <laughs> probably, I'm the good guy. Um, and then you go a year later. You got a big moment at WrestleMania with the half stadium. Yes. So it's almost like baby steps getting you to this place where like, and I feel like you've gotten to a place with Liv where, where there's so much fan momentum behind yeah. both of you. Like so many fans just want to see, I think the best for you guys. Yeah. Um, do you feel that when you are kind of out there? Yeah. Yeah. And that's all I've seen on social media too. Um, but I definitely feel it like as soon as we walk out there, they can see the chemistry and they see that we get along and we have fun together. And I think it makes everyone else enjoy their time as well, knowing that like we're out there having a ball and having fun. And I think the best part is the parts that people don't get to see that watch it on TV. Where in the ad breaks, like if we do our entrance before the ad break, we're out there having fun. Yeah. And it's what the crowd get to see that are there live in attendance. And sometimes they do like the DX cam. And like yeah, we'll yeah. be in the ring just like doing the sucker <laughs> and just like mucking around the whole time. But it's cool because then they get to see us having fun and then they're into it more and then they film it and they document it. They put it on social media and people see that and they get to learn and know us on a different level yeah. as well, which is super cool. Um, but yeah, the chemistry is definitely there with Liv and I. And not, I, see, I mean, with all this stuff going on, you're so busy, you're doing all these interviews and you're keeping uh -huh. your shoulders Dude. Massive. I mean, your I'm very wide. Shoulders <laughs> are incredible. Like there are people. I've talked to people in like weightlifting gyms specifically about you, and they're like, "Holy!" And then you turn around, and you're back, and everything, and they're yeah. like, "How?" I don't know. How? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's a genetic thing. I mean, it's awesome. I mean, it's, I do work hard too, but like, it's ridiculous at this point. It's insane. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I did shoulders yesterday, and it was the crappiest workout. <laughs> and they just responded. I, yeah, my arms just, they grow. My stomach doesn't do anything. My legs don't do anything. But my upper body, man, like just straight away, like I, I pinky lift like a weight. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I think that's the secret too that a lot of people don't know about like weightlifting. Like a lot of people will like try to get big biceps or whatever. But you yeah. got big shoulders, man. You don't need don't, anything as else. As long as you're good from here up, you're Back good. and shoulders, bro. It's, it's the number one. That's the lesson. Back and shoulders, back bro. And shoulders. It's the number one. And you heard it from somebody who's got a back and shoulders. Yeah. Rhea Ripley. Jesus. I hope you put 
a championship title on that shoulder. <laughs> I can't. It doesn't fit around. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried to do the whole clip thing and it doesn't work. I'm your too wide. Your sho- I guess I just wear it around my waist. My <laughs> shoulders are too big. <laughs> That's incredible. Well, congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank <laughs> and you. on WrestleMania. Thank you, Rio. No worries. Thanks, mate. <laughs>